following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers. This is the TFN. You can to the review of a Transformers figure I've been wanting to look at for a very long time. I got him way back in February, and my life was in a completely different place back in February of 2021. So it literally feels like it's been a lifetime since I got this Transformers figure since... I underwent quite a few, a lot of changes in my life, and if you go back and watch the videos I put out on my YouTube channel back at that time, you will see why it took me so, until literally almost the end of the year here to take a look at this Transformers figure. So without further delay, as you already can know by the title of the video, today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers War vs. Return Trilogy Kingdom Voyager Class Cyclonus. So yes, out of even though he was released in the first wave of the Kingdom line, out of all the Transformers figures that have been released in Kingdom since then, Everyone, pretty most Transformers fans pretty much agree, Cyclonus is one of the gems of the Transformers Kingdom line. I, I've said this about several other Transformers figures I've already reviewed. I said it last night. I said it when I did my review on Studio Series Rekgar. R, but I can't remember what other figures off the top of my head. But this is the must-have Cyclonus action figure to have in your Transformers collection. I am not kidding. You will not go wrong having Cyclonus in your Transformers collection. So yeah, I have been waiting to review Cyclone Onus ever since I got out of hold of him. So here's his artwork. There's his robot mode and his vehicle mode on the back. It's almost the opposite of most of the artwork that's been done on the Kingdom line where the uh, vehicle mode is in the foreground and the robot mode is in the background. But it's pretty and fantastic looking artwork, I believe. Here on the top of the box, Cyclonus is of course a Decepticon. On and here on the corner of the box, I haven't been showing this lately in my reviews, he is only the ninth figure to be released in the Kingdom line. Here on this side of the box, you've got the poster image for image for Transformers Kingdom. He's a Voyager class figure. On here to the back of the box, you have the product photos. There's Cyclonus in his robot mode. His vehicle mode of a Cybertron and Jet, and he transforms back and forth between both modes in 34 steps. So yes, I am pretty amazed at how fantastic Cyclonus came out based on all the reviews and all the videos and all even all the photos and snapshots people have taken of this figure. There is very, very little, little negative things to say about Cyclonus. Uh, one minor, one minor nitpick that I have with Cyclonus is that the purple Decepticon logo on his chest doesn't have a white or silver background. So at a distance, it might look like a purple spot on his chest rather than an actual Decepticon logo. But that's something that's easily overlooked. So without further delay, let's get Cyclonus opened up and take a close look at him in his robot mode. All right, and here he is out of the package. It's Cyclonus, and oh man, I cannot get over it. I'm going to just come out and say this right now. This is a fan-freaking-fantastic Transformers figure. Cyclonus is one of the must-have Transformers figures to have in your collection. Uh, my camera can't show it off too well, but he has a space on the back of his head, so he has light piping, piping and it's red, so Cyclonus has glowing red eyes when you... Hold the light piping up to a bright light. And I just love everything out here. Uh, one thing that is not quite accurate to Cyclonus's Generation 1 animation model is the direction that the cockpit is facing. It's actually facing the opposite direction towards his head. But that's a minor nitpick that can easily be overlooked once again. And oh man, I just cannot get over how incredible Cyclonus looks. He looks like he just jumped off the screen of the Transformers Generation 1 cartoon series. And one nice thing about Cyclonus that they did that Cyclonus figures in the past couldn't do, they took the tip of the wing, put it on a hinge joint, and made this little flap section fold up here, so now Cyclonus has wings that are accurate to his robot mode animation model, so that is a cool feature to have. I just can't get over that head sculpt, just look at that, that is Cyclonus to a T. He, again, he has a Decepticon logo there on his robot mode chest, I, as he doesn't have any on his wings, wings for jet mode. But I don't care. I'm just amazed at how Cyclonus came out. I love the shade of purple that Cyclonus has been given. It's the, it's not quite the uh, Decepticon purple that's used on Galvatron, on, but it's still pretty accurate to the one that he had through at, during the third season of the Transformers G1 cartoon series, and slightly more ac accurate to the shade of purple that was used on Cyclonus in the G1 Marvel comics. And one nice thing to note about Cyclonus, uh, this might be a bittersweet thing, thing for for fans and collectors but right here on his abdomen here on his and here on his knee pads just like the cockpit of his jet mode those parts are made out of clear plastic so even though it does have a tendency to uh not clear plastic doesn't last as long as solid plastic and it's a uh, 
no guarantee that Cyclonus will last long. I'm sorry, it's not the... I'm sorry, there isn't clear plastic on the knee pads. That's a purple paint. I apologize for that, but... On his abdomen and on his uh, jet mode cockpit, the clear plastic bits are... It's our... Uh, if you don't like clear plastic, those can be a little bit of a drawback, but I can overlook it. Uh, one nice thing about Cyclonus is that he doesn't have any hollowed parts except for the upper half of his legs, but I have seen a couple of third-party upgrade kits out there that fill in those gaps. So you can do that if you want Cyclonus's upper legs to be solid, but yeah, I just cannot get over how amazing Cyclonus is. His head is technically on a ball joint, so it can look up and down. It can rotate left and right there in 60 degrees. Universal joints of the shoulders, so the arms can go forwards and backwards in 60 degrees. They can go out this far. Uh, he has a swivel joint at the bicep right above the elbow. Hinged elbow, and he does have wrist swivels. It was, uh, he does have a waist articulation. He has a universal jointed hips, so the legs can go forward this far, they can go back this far. And that's one of the reasons why Cyclonus has been one of the more well-received Transformers figures. There's no kibble on Cyclonus's back. The only backpack Cyclonus has, if you can even call it a backpack, is the cockpit of the jet mode ode that's folded into his back. So that's pretty incredible of how Hasbro and Takara Tomi were able to engineer Kingdom Cyclone. Onus, um, he does have swivel joints in the hips, hinged knees, but hinged knees, but it's technically supposed to be uh, the hinge joint right up there, but if you pull on it too hard, you could end up turning it on the uh, transformation joint, so that's the actual knee joint right there, and then the hinge joint below is the transformation joint. Right. And he does have have, um, I was going to say he had ankle rockers, but now that I'm trying to meddle out with him, he does, but the ankle ankle rocker is inside the base of the leg, so be careful, careful when you turn that. But yeah, I just cannot get over how incredible Cyclone Onus is. This is arguably the best Transformers figure of the entire Kingdom line. Now, I apologize, I don't have any other Cyclonus figures to compare him with in robot mode, but I will compare him with the tran with another Transformers character that is close to him. So here is Kingdom Cyclonus next to Earthrise Skywolf. So yeah, I don't care what people say. I, people, I'm one of the Transformers fans who believes that Skywarp is the Transformers character who became Cyclonus, so first I just compare in robot mode, there's Cyclonus with the robot that he used to be. E and um, it was confirmed in an interview from one of the producers who worked on the original Transformers Generation 1 film in, I believe it was 2016 or 2017. And uh, one of the main producers who had worked on the movie, he had said in an interview that, interview that way back when the film was being made in 1986, it was, the intention was all along for Skywarp, who had become the Decepticon, who became Cyclonus the same way Megatron became Galvatron and Skirt, and... Uh, Thundercracker became Scourge. So yeah, I'm with the group of Transformers fans who say that Sky Cyclonus used to be Skywarp. Alright, so now that we've looked at Skywarp in his robot mode, let's get him transformed and take a close look at him in his jet mode. Alright, and so here he is, everyone. Cyclonus transformed into his jet mode. And oh man, oh man, I cannot get over this jet mode. This is how Cyclonus looked in the G1 series. This is how Cyclonus... Every G1 version of Cyclonus has transferred into this type of jet. And oh man, I cannot believe Hasbro and Dakar Tomy managed to pull off a jet that looks so fantastic looking. Looking so. If I keep find if I keep repeating myself where it sounds like I'm saying the same thing over and over with great emphasis, that's because I'm speechless at how fantastic Cyclonus is. Is. One nice thing about Cyclonus is that his uh the entire nose section of the jet crisscrosses and folds all the way into his torso in robot mode, and then his head flips and rotates around. And, and so that that's how Cyclonus transforms there, and yeah, I just can't get over how streamlined Cyclonus looks. There's no robot mode kibble underneath with the exception of his knee, knee pads. That's folding around back there, but yeah, Cyclonus's arms, arms uh, fold to form the uh, Hold well, two of the four engines, exhaust engines for his jet mode. The other two are the other two. They actually fold over his feet. That his feet don't actually become them. So, yeah, I just cannot get over how incredible Cyclonus is. Uh, the only uh, is one another minor nitpick to be had with Cyclonus is that the only place to store his laser gun is in the five millimeter peg that's right on top of him. 
him. But you can easily use your imagination to make it look as though that's an extra cannon Cyclonus ha has attached to him. Uh, one minor gripe I saw some collectors complaining with Cyclonus is that right here, these two uh, panel sections on both sides of the cockpit that actually fold up over his uh, robot mode hips, they can't really sit flush with the rest of Cyclonus, so it does, uh, but it does, does from a distance look as though he has small intake vents there at the front of him, so. so again, whatever flaws Cyclonus has, they actually work to his advantage, which is a rarity amongst Transformers figures. And of course, if you want to sit Cyclonus on a flat surface in his jet mode, he does have three tiny little uh, landing gears underneath him. him. Out of the box, the two in the back feel very tight. Alright, so just be careful when you transform Cyclonus' landing gear for the first time out of the box. Uh, he's got two in the back and one underneath the nose section. The nose section one uh, no, didn't feel as rough as the two in the back. But yeah, I cannot get over how incredible Cyclonus is. So, for a size compare, Harrison in vehicle mode, I forgot to transform Skywarp, so I apologize for not bringing out Skywarp, but for a size comparison with another Transformers figure in vehicle mode, here is Kingdom Cyclonus versus Transformers Reveal the Shield Cyclonus. This figure is a repaint of the Transformers Universe Classic Cyclonus figure that was released in 2009. This deluxe class figure was the first ever modern day Cyclonus action figure that was released by Hasbro and Dakar Tomy. It's Tomy. He comes with his uh, Target Master part partner, who I have sitting there on top. Uh, and yeah, it does amaze me how the engineering has changed, changed from 2009 to 2021. And it's pretty obvious on this version of Cyclonus that half of it, the majority of his vehicle mode is just his robot mode parts full. Is uh, his robot mode parts in a different configuration, and it doesn't really look much like the jet that he transformed into in the G1 cartoon series. But Kingdom Cyclonus manages to pull it off flawlessly. And yeah, I am just overjoyed at how much the this Cyclonus figure, it looks like a Masterpiece Cyclonus figure would look like if Masterpiece Cyclonus actually existed. Um, I think there's some third parties Masterpiece Cyclonus figures out there, but to my knowledge, Cyclonus has not been given a Masterpiece figure by Takara Tomi nor Hasbro. So yeah, I am just overjoyed at how incredible Cyclonus turned out. So... For my final thoughts, do I recommend and getting Kingdom Cyclonus if you do? Absolutely I do. You cannot go wrong having Kingdom Cyclonus in your Transformers collection. Alright, and for those of you wondering, I paused the video because I know those of you who wanted to see it, and I admit I did want to show it off as well. So here is Cyclonus next to Skywarp. And as you can see, uh, with the with the exception of the direction of how the where the wings are shaped, Cyclonus is fairly accurate. Accurate uh Accurately proportion, or not accurately, similarly proportioned to the uh, F-15 Eagle jet that the uh, uh, Skywarp and the other Seekers transformed into. So yeah, I don't care what people say. Skywarp is the Decepticon who became Cyclonus. I personally think that when Re Unicron reformatted him, he removed all of the fear that Skywarp had inside his brain, and that's why Cyclonus was so uh, bold and brave when he was uh, promoted to second-in-command of the Decepticons. So yeah. So, my final thoughts, I highly recommend you get Kingdom Skywarp if you find him. You will not regret adding Cyclonus to your collection. You will actually regret it if you do not get Cyclone. If you do not get Cyclonus, because he is pretty incredible looking now. Whether or not Cyclonus is going to be repainted, repainted into, say, his Armada, or the paint job that his Generation 1 action figure had for the Selects line, I honestly cannot say. But if Hasbro and Descartes only do repaint Cyclonus, it will be a re one of the more sought-after repaints of the Transformers. So thank you guys all so much. This has been the TFN Geek. Remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell icon for notifications. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, you guys, Transform and roll up. Goodbye, everyone.